but how has it aged? Real quick video, kind of off the cuff. I'm just going to ramble on a little bit. We've got a new tick watch coming down the pipe. I am just now getting my hands on that. And whenever new technology comes out, I think it's a fun opportunity to go and look back at some of the previous products from the same manufacturer. Now, I took a little bit of a hiatus on the tick watch, the S series, and especially the tick watch S and E2. This is the tick watch S. This is an Android Wear watch that I've been coming back to pretty frequently. This isn't to repeat the whole review I did a while back, just looking at how this product has aged, I've actually been very surprised and very happy with how the manufacturer has supported this product, even though I think we've all had some fair criticisms for Google's handling of Wear OS over time. My biggest gripes with this product still remain. This sort of squishy, mushy side-mounted button still feels wrong for it to be on the left-hand side of the watch when you wear it on your left wrist. The other gripe, and it's because I'm totally spoiled, but whenever I'm sporting the tick watch as, I really miss having an ambient light sensor, some sort of automatic adjustment to the brightness. You're in a dark movie theater, you're in bright Southern California daylight, and I'm very regularly swiping through the UI to control how bright that screen is. But what's not a gripe, and something that totally took me by surprise as I've continued to update this watch, the battery life. Here's a little clip of my review from when this product was initially launched. Lastly, the battery life has just been okay for my use, easily lasting me a day, but running lean by dinner. I usually don't have enough juice left for sleep tracking without a quick top off. That really was problematic when I was originally using the Tick Watch S. This watch would die right around dinner time. This was a daytime watch, charge it every night. As Android Wear has been updated and Tick Watch has done a great job of keeping up with those trends, we're on the four direction scrolling update for Wear OS. That's phenomenal for such an inexpensive product. The battery life has improved substantially. I'm now making it to bedtime with roughly about 30% battery life left. That ain't nothing to shake a stick at. And for that improved battery life, one of the things I've never gotten a good handle on with Wear OS is how much optimization or customization needs to happen from the manufacturer. You know, with arguably more powerful hardware, my Huawei Watch 2 has not aged as well with more recent Android Wear updates. It's a little stutterier, it's a little laggier. So a cheaper watch performing better with newer and more aggressive software updates is really refreshing. It's not so much that we're looking back at some of these products like maybe you were thinking, I need to buy a Tick Watch S even though newer watches have come out. It's a good benchmark to revisit some of this hardware and see Maybe this is worth investing in this manufacturer because they've done a good job supporting their past products. Especially, now I'm getting my hands on this new Tick Watch. And I'm gonna have a first impressions video on that bad boy out real soon. We get real hyped up on all the upgrades, what's new, what's the latest, what's the most exciting. But man, it's real nice when something like this really does live up to those manufacturer claims. This totally exceeded my expectations for an inexpensive product. As always folks, thanks so much for watching, for sharing these videos, subscribing to this channel. Like I said, not just nerding out on the shiniest and the brightest and the fastest and the newest, we wanna see how these things age over time, even as we're starting to get closer to some of that end of life. If you would like to help support the production of those conversations, there are links below this video in the description, or you could consider joining the list of names currently scrolling by on your screen. A growing community of fun, like-minded tech pals, a huge resource for me as I'm crafting future videos and editorials and reviews. So I hope you'll check it out. Now, you know where you can find me around the rest of the internet at some gadget guy on the Twitters and the Instagrams and the Facebooks and the Twitch and I will catch you all on the next review.